Now this interaction works equally well with Storyline's photographic or illustrated characters. Now one advantage though that the photographic characters has is that they have those over the shoulders, those from the behind type shots. Works really well because you want to kind of create that uh, that illusion that the character is actually walking through uh, the door. So you do want to begin with a torso shot regardless of the uh, type of character that you go with. Maybe the thinking one is fine. Go insert it. And one thing I always like to do is work with the shadow, uh, the default shadow kind of coming here from the uh, diagonal top right. Now I set this as my default shadow. So if you don't know about that, um, you can do that easily. If you like this shadow better too, just right click the object and then choose set as default shape. And what that enables you to do is every time you insert a new character, you're actually gonna get the shadow in that same perspective. So here's my starting position. I wanna go ahead and add two new custom states. Now, I'm using two in this example. You could use one, you could even use more. But the idea in this example is that as we drag our character over each door, we're going to flip her around. So we'll see it, um, see her as she's looking through the door and then have a little caption box here uh, with some text to, she decides which door to go through. So here's what this part looks like. I'm going to select my character. Down here in the uh, timeline area, we're going to select tabs and we're going to choose edit states create a new state and I'm going to call this door left. Now I'm just calling it door left because this is the position or the state that we'll see when we drag her over the left door. Before I create the right door, the right door state, I actually want to just work with this one that makes it just a little bit easier and I'll show you why in just a moment. So with my character still in the same position she is in the normal, I'm going to right click her, choose change character. And I'm, my same character is still selected, I'll click pose, and then here's that uh, over the shoulder shot. Go ahead and click insert. And with her like that, I'll go ahead and just bring in a caption. The caption, customize this all we want later on, but the idea is we're just gonna give the learner uh, some hints or some info about uh, what's behind door on the left and then the door on the right. And just like I did with the character, I want to bring the shape effect up and keep it like that. And I'll right click and choose set as default shape. And my shapes will have that same uh, shadow position, okay? Now with it here, I'll just add some text real quick. Hi, this is the door left, the left door. Now I can go ahead and duplicate this and I won't have to worry about reinserting her as a, uh, a re changing out the character for it. So it just saves me a couple steps there. So duplicate and we'll call this one door right. And then I'll just move this over. An update. So that's all we're doing in this step. We now have our character as she faces the door. Her normal state is right here thinking. And I'll close uh, the out of my editing with clicking done. Now real quick just to explain the background graphic that we're working with here. This was uh, something that was put together in uh, Photoshop. Uh, it was basically a combination of a background gradient and then I had to punch a couple holes out of there for the door. Let me show you what this looks like. Now we have a separate tutorial that shows you how to create the graphics and you'll also get the door and background assets with it. But what it is is just, it's not a transparent door in this example, it's just I, I knocked out a hole right here and then put the door frame over it just so I could create that illusion. I wanted to duplicate it. But for our example here, uh, all of this pretty much works with just a solid background and then the door graphics that uh, we provided in the source files. So we're really not gonna get into that in this series, but we do have additional uh, tutorials on how to put that all together. Most of what everything you're going to work with is setting the character, the triggers, and then how we uh, change the door states from open to closed. And actually, we're going to do that in the next lesson.